The Art of Communication. My Thoughts. I believe that it is important to have a positive view of the future and to approach customer service with an open mindset, with an aim to grow and learn from experiences, communicating with customers whilst being non-judgmental towards them and focusing on giving them a great experience whilst trying to solve their problems or help them to get what they need. Ultimately, the purpose of communication is to identify the needs or problems of the customer. This is done by using active listening techniques and asking open questions to find needs or problems that may be unstated. These big picture questions can help us to see the situation our customer is in. Once the information appears to be gathered, we can employ a Columbo-like approach and ask if there's anything else the customer would like to add. One more thing. By considering issue avoidance and asking what else the customer may need, we can attempt to ascertain problems that the customer didn't know they had and work to solve them. This can help prevent further issues from popping up so that our customers don't need to return in the immediate future or call us back with similar questions or related issues. By empathising with and siding with the customer, their needs can be facilitated and their problems solved. It is important to be unbiased and impartial and non-judgmental of how we perceive people. People can come from all walks of life, creeds, religion, as well as social backgrounds. First impressions are key, so it is important to be engaged, present in the moment and professional. Not to be negative or bored when opening communications either by phone or face-to-face. -face. By flexing and identifying the style and way in which a customer requires to be communicated with, i.e., in a more serious or a more jovial manner. Conversations can be personalised and we can adjust and adapt to our customers' needs, making sure that they are the leading aspect of the call. Linking what we are going to say to something that our customer has said can make the customer feel that something has been done especially for them. This form of hospitality in the moment can make them feel valued and listened to as opposed to simply being railroaded through a process. Creating a positive connection that gives the customer confidence that you're able to help them. Advocating by focusing on being ready to help and willing to serve shows that we are on our customer's side. Keeping them in the loop, letting them know what you're doing and why and explaining the processes that you're performing for them by using effortless language in plain English without technical jargon. And if something does or has gone wrong, taking accountability and anchoring our customer to a more positive viewpoint and informing them of the worst case scenario can show that being unable to fulfill their needs is not necessarily the end of the world. Keeping in mind what our customer has told us, we can consider whether signposting them to other services may be the best option for them. This can keep them informed, as well as certain that they are being listened to, understood and that their requirements or issues are being dealt with in a positive manner. Those are my thoughts on the art of communication.